Hey there YouTube friends, my wife and I just bought this house and we're in the process of renovating it and I just want to show you a little problem we have in this bedroom. This floor in this bedroom has a major squeaking problem. Listen to this. That's pretty maddening. I wonder how long the previous owner lived with that. But while I have the carpeting pulled up, we're going to get to fixing it. But uh, first, I just want to show you what's going on in case you've never seen under your carpeting or laminate floor. But basically, you're going to have plywood or particle board, which I have. And you see it's all nailed down to the, uh, the joists. And the first instinct is to go nailing into the joist where you think the particle board or plywood came loose. But that might not necessarily be the case. And I'm going to show you a little trick right now and maybe it'll work for you. I hope it does. Here we go. All right, so I isolated this squeak to right around this area and I suspect it's this wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push my pry bar on the, the wall a little bit. So I'm almost touching this uh, back here. And now I'm going to have Rita walk around, walk around a little bit, see what happens. Walk this way. Keep walking. So now the squeak is totally gone just by putting this pry bar right in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a wood shim, put a wood shim in there and that should solve the problem. I pulled off a piece of molding to try to show you what's going on here. But you never know what you're going to get in an old house and this house was built in the early 70s and it almost looks like we have a uh, a subfloor over a subfloor. You can never really tell what's going on. But in any event, if you look back there, there is the bottom plate for this closet wall right here. And what I think is happening is the uh, subfloor underneath is kind of like uh, going up and down a little bit. So if I put a shim under there, that should solve the problem. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right, I'm going to use these Nelson wood shims that I got at Lowe's for about two dollars. And I'm just going to try to get a couple of these under that bottom plate. Press them in like that. Looking for the spot that really feels like there's a gap. So I'll put one there. And now I'll just walk around and we'll see if the floor squeaks. And I'm going to walk around a little bit, see if there's any squeaking going on. That's a lot better. So I think that did the trick, and maybe that will do the trick for you. Now I'm just going to cut off those shims and I'm going to put that baseboard molding back. And then I'm going to paint this room and when I'm done painting it, we'll walk around again and that should be a good test. We'll see if it squeaks. Okay friends, the room is just about done. We got done putting down the floor yesterday and it's all painted and fresh and new and the furniture is in and the creaking floor is much better. So to review, if you have a creaking floor, you have a couple of choices. You could try putting a couple of shims under the wall like I did, or you could try screwing down the plywood to a joist down below. And always remember, if you have an old house, it's always going to have creaks and squeaks. It's part of the charm of having an older house. Um, as always, please subscribe and um, stay tuned because we're going to have plenty of videos on home improvements as we remodel this house. See you next time.